get my trailer instead of putting all the bikes back here. Now that we've shown some love to the Duramax, here's the problem that we're going through right now. We can work on the Kawasaki. I'm sure that's how a lot of you guys thought today's video would start. But we had to give some attention to the Duramax. The Duramax deserves it. The Duramax puts more miles on herself. Well, I put more miles on the Duramax. At least I hope nobody's taking the KX out when I'm not, uh... I don't think we have to worry about it. Now, usually I like to change out the fuel filter, too, on the Duramax when I do the oil change. And I also like to replace the oil filter on the transmission. I guess the fluid filter on the transmission. I just don't have either one of those filters. I'll have to order them. So once I buy them, they come in the mail, I'll install them, just, just know that. Okay, next time. I just got done tightening down the spokes. Both the back and the front look good. Rear brake pads look good. The front are getting thin. Now it's tricky to see with this camera because it's such good megapixels, it doesn't know where to focus. But this side, the pad is good. The other side, the pad's kind of diminishing. This will probably be the last ride on these brakes, at least the front brakes. If they wore more evenly, then we could probably get two more rides out of them. But it's cheaper to replace brake pads than rotors and brake pads. How many people have noticed the lack of tool shots lately? Remember how I always used to open up my drawers and get my tools that I need? Well, the reason why I don't show those shots very much anymore is because I don't know where half my tools are. Well, I do. They're on the ground, but they're not in a nice organized... Well, they're not in their proper spots. I think I've done everything that I need to on this bike. The last thing is to tighten the chain. And I guess adjust this carburetor that I showed you guys last night. She's locked and loaded. Let's see what this baby can do. Jake's gonna come down with his bike. We're gonna have to run this sometime tonight, get it all adjusted. The race is tomorrow. Jake's over here, he's out of the shop. I wanted to show him what's going on with the bike. And it'll run good, but as soon as it get on the throttle, pop it right and it'll go right bop. Yeah, so we gotta take it out for a nice midnight joy ride. That's why I got my mask on. Oh, I broke my pen. We gotta stay warm, and we gotta get this done. Race is tomorrow. How many hours? 13? 14? 14 hours, Jake can't do math. I didn't know what time it was. I brought my bike up to Jake's house to adjust the carburetor, because I can't really adjust it in town. I'll get yelled at. We adjusted it so the bike sounds way better than it did. I wanna do a test hot start now, so that God forbid if I stall it out in the race, or if it decides to quit during the race, I can start it back up, first or second kick. But before we do that, we just want to mention that we're going to take all the bikes down to my house. Correct, Jake? Correct. Okay, we're going to take the KTM. going to take the YZ. Are they all ready to go? No! Frick no! Why not? Seth's out of town. Where he is he? me with a half a tank of gas. That's all he's got. The big brop juice can is empty. And he's low on coolant. He doesn't need those two things. He's golden. 
Oh, <laughs> shit. Chats fire! Chats fire! I know you won't give up, Seth. You've been doing good the last two, buddy. Yeah, he's doing doing good. Ever since I started him, he's got he's got some competition. He wants to show me up, so that's good. It gives him an incentive. You want to throw this on your bike? Sure, let's throw it on my bike. Do you really want it? Sure, why not? Right. Do you have the clamps and everything? Yeah. Is that for the clutch side or the? For either side. This okay. Side. Well, let's see. What I think. I got mine on my front brake side. On your front brake side? Yeah. Uh, I'll match you. Let's do the front brake. Really? I don't know. Which I don't know. Maybe do the you... clutch side. Which side do you? Because I get a little sloppy on the clutch sometimes. I get a little tired out. I'm like, oh, here we go, and then I. Yeah, I think I think that would be more beneficial. Well, we'll have to cut a hole in this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're cutting holes in that. Screw it. Who cares? This is twisting too. We got to fix that tonight. Do you have any wire? That's bad. Yeah, it is. It's terrible. It's like it's like which one's my throttle? <laughs> Well, you know yeah. what I'll cut a hole in this and tighten this bad boy up against that. I won't be able to spin anymore. I bet you you can. <laughs> All right, well let's let's cut the hole in it. All right. You got drill? You just cut it. All right. uh, do a good job on it, Jake. Is this one already broken? Because if this one's broken, then we'll just. No, nope, they're both in good shape. You're telling me you're gonna take my brand new handlebar grips? And you're just yeah. gonna rip them right open? Ah oh, man. We made it to Jake's pallet shack. Jake, what are we doing? Having a fire? I don't know. Yeah, we're having a fire. Say. We're having a fire. Yeah. Just burning some brush. You got a new addition in there? We had to do a chore before we Let's could go. finish our dirt bikes. What's up? I want to fix this. I got some glue. And I also have some wire. So we're going to do it. So we're going to give it extra love. We're going to give it both. Hold on. What? Hold on, what? You can cut it while it's on there, right? You want to clean that up? Yeah. What's this? No. What smell? What's the funny smell? The funny smell? Yeah. Try you. I don't stink. I'm a sophisticated human being. Keep it on the side. You got it? Yeah. Oh, good angulation. Dirt should flow out nice and... Oh, look at that. These are last minute modifications. These ones tend to be the most messy and the least resourceful. Man. Is that better? Yeah. When in doubt, hammer it out. Huh, do it up. Looks pretty sharp. You're gonna enjoy this, aren't you? What the frick is this? It's dual weird. See that? Well, I don't know if that's going to work, buddy. Come on. It's going to work perfectly. Come on. Well, it was definitely a two-man job. Not really. Jake and I got this uh, bark buster on, though. It's going to be nice. I just hope, uh, I was telling Jake, if there's any motocross jumps, I just got to hang on tight. Otherwise, you put your hand in here and you ditch it, and then, you know, you break your wrist. When in doubt, just hang on to that. Hang on to it really good. <laughs> All right, so what do we got to do with uh, Seth's bike? Where's the coolant? What do you mean you don't know? I brought it in here. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Got it? Almost, almost did it. Well, jeez, dude. <laughs> What's wrong with this thing? <laughs> to Gotta get the chia. Trying to mix some room for you. I really appreciate that, Jake. I love, I love extra room. Seth was gonna run his bike without putting coolant in it. How low is the coolant, Jake? Well, I don't know. I can't see it, and I shook it, so. <laughs> so pretty empty. <laughs> Good call, Seth. Jake's even cleaning out the funnel. What a good friend. What a good friend. I don't want that dust particulate down in there. Yeah, Jake, I, don't, I can't see anything. Nothing. Nothing. All right, let's see how much it takes. It's a good thing you checked that. He'd blow an engine. Easy now, dude. That's brand new. It's going to spill everywhere if you treat it like that. Is that a Yamaha funnel? <laughs> easy, easy, easy. We're good, keep going. Wow. Is it there yet or no? I don't see nothing coming out. That should be enough. That should be enough? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's good. All right, that's only a few fluid ounces. Not too bad. Let's check the Kawasaki. Now when I checked it earlier, it was good. Yeah, it's there. Perfect. Kawasaki? In the green. It's all set. All right, so how long has it been? Like 30 minutes? Should Probably. Try no choke? 
Sure. No choke, just hot start? Yeah. That's how I want it. That's how I want it. That's a beautiful sight. And I got a Bark Buster, man. I'm Michael Jackson rocking one Bark Buster throttle. Nope, it's just going to get in the way. So I can't put a Bark Buster on the side. I got to go. get my trailer instead of putting all the bikes back here Jack and I had to run down to my house get my trailer I don't know what I was thinking we have three bikes we were gonna throw them in the back of my truck well that's what I thought and then we loaded my bike and I said this ain't gonna work so we went down got the trailer I think this is a little less of a crazy idea throw the bikes in the back put the junk in the bed like we've done it every time. Is that a good decision, Jake? I think it's a good decision. Better than the original one. I need to get diesel fuel. I also need gas. That was much faster and much cheaper. So the Duramax is happy, she got some diesel fuel. The Kawasaki's happy, she got some gasoline. I ended up getting a 93 octane, no ethanol, I believe. We're ready for tomorrow. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I wanna outdo set this race. The first one, you know, I just, I went a little too fast. I wrecked a little too much. This race, I feel good. I think the bike's doing better. I think I have more experience now. Well, who am I kidding? I, I do have more experience. I actually did one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. 3D Machines out. I want to thank all you machine freaks for tuning into this vlog. Jake the Toilet Snake is always a blast. I told you guys yesterday that I would answer some of your questions. If you guys like me answering your questions, leave some more in the comment section below. And also tell me that you like to hear the questions and the answers. I do look forward to your questions and I look forward to answering your questions. Don't forget to smash the hell out of the like button. What started out as a simple YouTube movement has turned into something phenomenal. And we, the 3D Machines crew, if I call it the 3D Machines team or the 3D Machines gang like any other time, that's okay. I do like the ring to the 3D Machines crew though. Phase Lounge says, are you going to put a turbo in the BMW? I would like to. Right now in the winter months, I don't really see it happening. But if I get the thing working nice and working right and everything's tight, then sure, I'd like to put a turbo in it. We have Brian Rowley ask, would you ever do a burnout in the city or in your community? I would not in my community. In a city, I would. I have. Jeff Grizz asks, Jeff Grizz did two things. He first said 3D crew, like I said. I, I like that as well. Why did you stop doing a lot of your street bike ride videos? I stopped doing it because I didn't really feel like it was entertaining enough for you guys. I like shots and I like more action. I like this one, the the Machine Freak Marathon. Since we're doing two videos a day, since you guys are killing it when it comes to the likes, I like that. Fatboy87. I just declined my girlfriend's phone call to make this video. <laughs> She's gonna be pissed. Hey, what's up? Chris Samurai asks, what is that newspaper about in the frame behind you? This newspaper that's framed, it was actually a gift from my father. He made it for me a couple years ago for a Christmas gift. The article was written actually by my girlfriend and was like transcribed by another writer when I was filmed two days for a TV show. I forget what channel it was on. It was a cool experience. It's just crazy how much film they actually take to make a five minute video. But I want to thank all you machine freaks for tuning into this video. Don't forget to smash the hell out of that like button. Get over 10,000 likes within 12 hours. I will put another video up for you guys. Don't forget 3D Machines hoodies. The Brad Life hoodies. They are on sale. The link is in the description. I'll also put it in the comments section. Enjoy the rest of your day. 3D Machines out. Yeah!